our mind always follows our breathing. When we inhale, the air comes into the inner world. When we exhale, the air goes out to the outer world. The inner world is limitless, and the outer world is also limitless. We say inner world or outer world, but actually there is just one whole world. In this limitless world, our throat is like a swinging door. The air comes in and goes out like someone passing through a swinging door. If you think, I breathe, the I is extra. There is no you to say I. What we call I is just a swinging door, which moves when we inhale and when we exhale. It just moves, that's all. When your mind is pure and calm enough to follow this movement, there's nothing. No I, no world, no mind, no body, just a swinging door. So when we practice Zazen, all that exists is the movement of the breathing, but we're aware of this movement. You should not be absent-minded. But to be aware of the movement does not mean to be aware of your small self, but rather of your universal nature or Buddha nature. This kind of awareness is very important because we are usually so one-sided. Our usual understanding of life is dualistic. You and I, this and that, good and bad. But actually, these discriminations are themselves the awareness of the universal existence. You means to be aware of the universe in the form of you. And I means to be aware of it in the form of I. You and I are just swinging doors. This kind of understanding is necessary. This should not even be called understanding. It is actually the true experience of life through Zen practice. So when you practice Zazen, there's no idea of time or space. You may say we started sitting at a quarter to six in this room. Thus you have some idea of time, a quarter to six, and some idea of space in this room. Actually, what you are doing, however, is just sitting and being aware of the universal activity. That is all. This moment the swinging door is opening in one direction, and the next moment the swinging door will be opening in the opposite direction. Moment after moment, each one of us repeats this activity. Here there is no idea of time or space. Time and space are one. 